seen this beautiful couple <laughs> is going on a honeymoon. Give me an exotic location. China. Kenya. China. China. Aruba. China. China. They're going to China. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to be in their honeymoon, and throughout this scene, they may be at some point at a loss of words. So they're going to reach into this little basket and pull out a slip of paper that some of you have kindly written on and then justify why they may be saying what's on this paper, okay? So enjoy that. Enjoy them. They will be in China. And this is Cliffhangers. Oh, darling Lance. I'm so glad you could join me on my fourth honeymoon, your first. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, Samantha, I know that's what I want to talk to you about. I didn't realize this is your fourth honeymoon. I mean, well, you know, they've all died, but don't don't worry, you're in good shape. Uh, am I? <laughs> How come the ticket back only seemed to have one person on her? I'm just like, I'm a little concerned, but I can get past that. Hey, look, some Chinese food. Oh, lovely. You know, I do so much like the fried rice. Rice, life, <laughs> life, life. You're blending in well, they will not notice it. They'll oh. never notice it. In fact, well, there's something, I'm not quite sure I understand what that sign over there says above that restaurant, but mm. I do believe it says, I am gay, Johnny. <laughs> I don't think you should go into that restaurant, yeah. Lance, because I think perhaps they might take advantage of you. Perhaps we should go over to this restaurant where the little duck is hanging down. Yes, uh, the thing is, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, like, I might go home early. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not feeling it anymore. I, I thought I was, a, I was your first man. Now I find that I'm four on the totem pole. <laughs> Well, darling, I am 45, and you can't expect me to sit around and not have done anything for 45 years. Well, my mom, I talked, and she said whenever you get involved with somebody who maybe had been married before, you have the right to remain silent. That's what she said. Uh, and I've spoken, so I've already kind of screwed that up. So... Well, I'm... I'm I can maybe last out through the trip. There's something that's a little worried, you know, it's freshly married, but you, you, you're, you're used to it. Now I'm not, and that's weird. Well, perhaps we should go on a little rickshaw drive. Yes. Let's see if we can find the rickshaw person over there. Oh, I do believe you have to yell out something to them to yes, get them, you, you to do. their attention. So I think if we yell out, he gets out of the house when you're drunk, but he can't perform. <laughs> Let me try it. He's not supposed to be No, that doesn't work. They're too yeah. fast. These guys are really, really quick. They are quick. You'd think that they'd slow down. They're like, eh. anyway. Well, I think they probably have a hard time performing as well because they're so quick. So what is that supposed to mean? Now, now you're criticizing something about my performance? I got, uh, you know what? I got something to tell you about my, my performing technique. My dog has fleas. <laughs> well, I, I thought they were called crabs, but if you want to call them fleas, that's fine. Well, I call them fleas, you can call them crabs, and I say tomato, and you can say tomato. What, what are, you know, we have our differences. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. Well, I'm, I, you know, I, I do have to take some responsibility. I'm sorry that you're feeling this way. Let me go shopping and buy you something. That's in fact, right. in fact, I remember it was my mother that was saying, if you, uh -huh. when you marry a man, yeah. it's very important to remember, yeah. damn it, that's my shit. <laughs> That's the most important thing to remember in a marriage because you can't share your shit. You have my shit and your shit, but damn it, it's my shit. That's what she told me. That's kind of breaking the mood for me. You know? I might, I might have to say something about that shit, dog shit. <laughs> That's what I think about your shit, dog shit. You're transplanting dog shit in place of your shit, saying it's your shit, and I find that a little bit. A little bit offensive, actually. Ah, 